Hello everyone, welcome to The Source. Today is April 21st and this is Going Home, Land-Based Intentional Communities. It's brought to you by the Awakening Sovereignty Collective. Website is www.asc.ai. You can join us in the team chat at www.asc.ai backslash team chat. Um, this is The Source. And we're today, um, since Dakota Kaiser is not able to be here today, he's actually in transition to his home, uh, Ecuador, um, where he has Terra Frutis, uh, which is several properties within our ASC collective. Um, and he's seeking to get grounded there and, and do some amazing things. And so I'm gonna take this opportunity to showcase um, many different websites, uh, resources of eco villages, eco communities, uh, regenerative communities, permaculture, um, and whatnot. So here we go. And the first couple episodes of this show of going home, land based intentional communities, um, we have showcased. Um, some of the 5,000 acres of land that's in the Awakening Sovereignty Collective, um, 5,000 acres of land, uh, properties in Washington State, properties in, um, in uh, Oregon, properties in, um, properties in uh, Ecuador and in Brazil. Um, and there's a map on the uh, Awakening Sovereignty Collective and on the, um, the Tribe of Awakening Sovereignty website of hundreds of eco-villages and eco-communities. Um, and of this map here that you can see at tribeofawakeningsovereignty.com, um, there's hundreds and it's populating from other websites like there's tribe eco villages, there's tribe expansion centers, there's new mundo centers, there's new earth nation territories, and there's commune tierra locations, bit nation nodes, eco basa communities. Uh, so it's, all, it's populating all these different eco villages from different directories. Um, and you can check this out and scroll around the world and click on any area where there's a number and there's 24 or 13 or 12 or whatever amount you can zoom in and um, and then click on the, the territory and learn more about it. So this is a resource here. Um, and then the next one here is the Global Eco Village Network, which is ecovillage.org. And, um, and then you can click on projects. And I was just looking at this a moment ago and I was scrolling down through the projects or the eco villages and there is um, there is hundreds, if not thousands, of eco villages or communities here on this list. Um, so just scrolling down through here, and it doesn't stop. I literally was scrolling for like thirty minutes. So check out this resource. Um, then there is the ic.org which is the fellowship of intentional community uh intentional communities there's a communities directory here and um check, definitely check this out because it's a major resource as well um, of eco communities um, and then over here is new mundo uh, new mundo.org um, also a similar purpose and uh, focus on matching you to your community, to the right community. Um, so that's New Mundo. Definitely check that one out. Uh, here is the coeo.cc, uh, coeo, the community connector. Definitely join this. And um, you, there's 35,000 change makers on here. Um, as you can see, the numbers 176 countries, 111 people are online right now. Um, and then there's a map uh, here. You can join the network and you can connect with people locally to globally through this uh, system. So it also maps a lot of the different websites, uh, net directories um, into their directory. Um, so definitely check out that one. And then um, 
New Earth Nation. Um, they have the map as well for their communities as well uh, around the world. So check that out. Join the New Earth uh, Nation, New Earth Projects and whatnot. Um, and um, there's many other resources and directories, but this is a good starting point. Um, take some time to join these various websites and to scan through and, and um, find what you're looking for. Um, as there's a place for you um, everywhere in the world, there's places for us to live and to ground in and be with the tribe and um, be in the new earth now. So, so thank you, uh, Richard. I am that I am rich for joining us here today. Thank you, Sir Rick. Uh, Christopher for joining us. Um, introduce yourself and uh, what, what are you what are you guys thinking? Hello everyone. Um, I go by I am that I am rich. Uh, rich stands for remembering I create happiness. Uh, I love I love what you have to share. Um, interested in these communities. Um, I know one day I'll be visiting some of these communities. Um, so thank you for sharing and bringing that awareness that these places exist. And I'm just open right now and um, receiving and I'm here to hold space and be present. Um, and just, uh, I'm in a place of allowance. So well, thank you, brother, for sharing. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And Sarek? Here, I'll unmute you. Here, I'm unmuting you now. There you go. All right. Um, yeah, no, uh, so this is my uh, second time um, participating or even watching any of these things. I've, I've came across the Awakening Sovereignty Collective actually through another group and connections that I found on the, the ic.org site. So that, that is definitely a, a, a good resource that I have, I am moderately familiar with myself. So I would, again, uh, that, that is definitely a, a resource to check out. Um, so uh, I am personally like really excited to be participating in this this collective endeavor and and seeing how more and more of us are are aligning with this type of uh, uh, community building. Um, and uh, I, I know the the Mother Earth News Fair, Mother Earth um, News. There's uh, a lot in my area. I'm in I'm in Pennsylvania, and so that was something that um, my family and I have participated in the, the past two years. And just uh, the accumulation of the momentum um, of the the focus I've had um, for the past three years, seeing how that is unfolding, and and being with that, and working with that, and uh, finding others that I'm aligned with is is in a very exciting process you know despite all the hurdles and the the challenges that continue to come up on a on an emotional and spiritual level as we continue to clear out the old patterns and usher in the new with new ways of being sharing and connecting and so i'm glad to be here thank you for being here thanks for joining us thank you Yes. So this is, uh, this is uh, you know, to, to be a resource, to, to just share, you know, to showcase um, that, that, you know, anything is possible and, and all of our dreams can come true. And, um, you know, every, every resource that you might need to, to make a, a shift in your life to becoming the highest version and expression of yourself and be, to be fully in trust and in faith that you will always be supported and that um, everything is ours. Um, you can either live in a world in which we own nothing or you can live in a world in which we own everything per se. And it's a global collective. All humanity is one family and we're in partnership with life and uh, stewarding the earth and uh, into its highest expression as well. And, and it starts within, it starts with our inner work and process and and as we, um, as we shed the layers of, of the ego uh, mind matrix per se, and, and, and um, start to get those urges of, of, ah, like, why am I still here? Who are all these people around me that are unconscious? And uh, this is just, it's not feeling good. 
like to, to, you know, I personally lived in Ohio a few years ago and, and my life was, was that way. It, it completely closed in on me. And, and, um, my only way out was at that point was to just hop in my van and drive across the country and, and, uh, meet up with a lot of higher vibrational conscious and spiritual beings and do this work, which is to bring in a better world uh, and use the internet and, and technologies like this video now to, to broadcast the highest solutions and vibrations to the planet and, and network all light workers together and build out systems that can, um, that can essentially be the resource based economic system um, in the next months to years. And that's what we're doing. And it's actually happening. Everything's manifested. Um, and what I was shown is that, that I was for 30 years creating my, my, my higher reality, but I never left my reality to go see what my creation was. So as I crossed the country, got to California, everything's been miracles and, and amazing. And, and then even letting go of Los Angeles to go up, up to San Fran for a weekend to help um, my friend who her daughter was homeless there. Um, I just took the leap. I, I had a free flight that I happened to have earned a year previous when I went to a bachelor party in Las Vegas. I happened to have landed in Los Angeles to be able to pop into Vegas um, synchronistically to, to then giving up my flight, being guided, to then being able to then a year later be like, wait a second, I have a free flight voucher. Oh wait, it's expiring this weekend. Oh, you want me to find your daughter this weekend? Okay, here I go. And I just flew to San Fran, um, went to a um, small town there and, and her daughter was found uh, at the end of the weekend. And she's now home in Indiana with her mom and they've healed up and, and it's magic. And I let go of San Fran to go back to LA and, and there was going to Sedona, Arizona for the Eagle Quetzal Condor gathering. And there was, um, traveling in a, on a permaculture village bus tour up and down the coast to cities like Los Angeles and Ojai and San Diego areas and up to San Luis Obispo. And then after that one month, we even traveled up to San Francisco and up to the, um, up to the, um, the wine Valley, Napa Valley up there for a month. We traveled around that area and went to Berkeley and San Fran and Oakland and all those areas around there. And, to the point where I was offered to get grounded in Ventura. And I was so ready for that uh, because I was literally just hopping from couch to couch for uh, two weeks and being in service to people in our tribe, but feeling those slavery energies come up and, and, and just being like, I do appreciate having a grounded place where I can ground in and, and do my internet work. And, and, uh, and I've been here for, couple months and uh, now I'm getting the opportunity to get out on the road a little bit now that I have use of a vehicle here and I can go to these festivals and events and I don't know if I'm going to do the full tour because I, I like what I've got here but um, it's an option to do some touring too and, and then come back and ground in and just keep that flow going so um, that's that's where I'm at so What do you guys think? You guys got any, any? Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. There's so much, you know, to share. <laughs> but it's beautiful um, coming together, you know, um, being to uh, share some of the experiences and, and tours that we've gone through. I mean, I've been on some amazing journeys you know and releasing in the process and one that comes to mind as 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 one of my major transformations was you know the year of 2013 um out in palm springs and uh having this uh etheric phoenix show itself and um shared knowledge and wisdom with me at the time at the time i didn't know what was going on i was too very new waking up to this stuff um so i picked up the phone and called a friend um who was a crystal baby and the first question he asked me is what do you think it is and i'm like it's a uh the word that popped into my mind was a phoenix and um he goes don't worry about all the work that we have done because we had done a, such a great shift for the earth on that weekend 
Um, the Phoenix was there actually watching over me. Um, and at the same time, um, in gratitude because of what I and the collective had done. And um, on the journey home, we had a lot of uh, ascended masters. Well, I say we, but I was the only one in the car. Um, show themselves and uh, say thank you throughout the journey. And um, in that journey, one of the things that was very uh, expressed was is the gratitude of all of us learning to trust what we're feeling and, and moving forward. Um, because that was the biggest thing. I was not awake. I did not understand anything that was going on. I wasn't spiritual. Um, all I knew is things were going on with myself. And at the time, I remember it was a lot of had to do with the power of the mind. I thought I was just thinking things and things were happening. But when this situation, this event, this conference, it was a Star Knowledge conference, and um, a lot of amazing people showed up. And the power of when people show up um, and we come together and the things that are shown, there was a grid that we created as a group there. And I happened to be the grounding rod for this, this, this grid that was created that day. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of the Ascended Masters, um, the beings of, of the, the what animal kingdom, ocean kingdom, every animal, I would say, was showing themselves the dragons. And um, it was just an amazing, I mean, from turtles to fish to, you know, just everything was uh, available. Um, and showing themselves, it's pretty much a gratitude. And I... I I didn't know what it was at the beginning uh, because I really had no idea the extent of what um, I had done with uh, the collective groups that had shown themselves present that day. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't just us as a collective here in, uh, in Palm Springs. I'm pretty sure this was going on around the world. A unique group of individuals all around the world were doing synchronistically events at the same time. Because what we brought in that day was a conscious energy within the group collective of what we call the gold Christ energy. And that was one of the reasons why um, a lot of these, I would say, Ascended Masters beings showed themselves throughout the day. Don't get me wrong. I was going through major transformations myself um, to becoming aware and remembering who I was. Um, but... Uh, learning to have faith and trusting what you're feeling while moving in these journeys and um, going through these releases is very important for us to just let go and, and, and believe. And, you know, the other image that I'm getting right now is from the movie Hercules. But again, um, it's not just from the movie Hercules. I mean, there's been a lot of movies and, and situations and bottom line at the end of this is, to trust and I remember the day that I just sat there in tears and even watching the movie I was in tears is I believe I believe I believe and when you get into those energies of I believe I trust um, it's amazing the things that are shown to you and opened up and um, you become aware of um, you don't know what a unique soul you are until you open yourself and and trust what you're feeling i believe you know so thank you thank you everyone for sharing thank you so rick you got anything um not right now i don't think no i'm i'm I, so so where i'm at personally is at the uh, at this crossroads i was you know privately talking to you to a bit earlier about that and so i'm I, oh, so part of part of the connection here uh interacting with this this these groups and these calls uh, my hope 
my intention is to facilitate um, just just the connections. I'm I my intent is to offer myself up as as whatever it is I can be for whoever it is that I am going to be connecting with and and allowing that you know allowing that to unfold as it needs to while um, working on my own ability to remain authentic. And remain authentic and balanced in a way that I am able to effectively communicate the, 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 the subtle and gross changes um, that I am experiencing and um, come to recognize. So um, it's, it's been said to me many, many times that, um, and, and I've heard it said about following your joy, finding your passion and, and uh, having that be um, something that you allow to guide you into um, a role where you can be of the highest service for the for the collective for for those around you and so I'm still um, working on that I have so many things that I am processing that I feel drawn to in a way but not not to a degree that I feel like yes this is what I need to do this is where I need to go and so I'm really working on on you know waiting sitting connecting asking and then then being open to receive uh those answers and um this this connection here with these these calls and uh, the awakening sovereignty collective and the other groups um uh, are are part of that i feel for me and i i hope to to find my place and and come to a clarity about how i how i can fit in to to the group to the tribe and and then uh, you know as I have been continuing calling I've been uh, calling to my tribe for the past few years and um, I've met with a bit of frustration as I feel like I've found certain individuals who fit but then it ends up being just more lessons in releasing old patterns and but I'm at a point where I feel like I I am ready to connect with my core group i'm ready to connect with the physical incarnations of the the soul group that i experienced um back in 2015. i mean i had this experience during one of the blood moons on the 4th of april 2015 where i was in this room in this ship with me it was like uh i was it was all these other beings that were part of a, a single soul group and we had an understanding of what we were doing in the different dimensions and and i i i want to feel that i want to help create that type of feeling here in in this level of manifestation because it it does i know it exists because i've i've experienced it and i want to find those individuals who are able to join with me in creating that here and and part of that is having i feel a a geographical location in which to um, uh, gather and um, I've, I've said it's, it's kind of like finding that group finding the geographical location and then uh, creating a new axis mundi a new center of the world for that group of people and that's that's what I intend to create for myself and those that are aligned in that vision and and I feel participating in these group um, calls and, and the networks that we are creating is is going to be a very um, efficient way of doing it. So I'm looking forward to that. Thank you. What did you say, Richard? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and uh, there's, um, I know there's some cool groups around Pennsylvania and Michigan. I saw there's a festival in Michigan coming up too. Um, I forget the name of it. Um, I can share it with you if you're interested. Um, so yeah, well, we have for anybody who might be in uh, Pennsylvania. I'm in northern Pennsylvania, so it's kind of the the upstate New York area as well. Um, I I have some light connections to people in in Buffalo and in Rochester. I know there's there's an event in um, Almond, New York, called Portal Burn which is a, a regional Burning Man event, kind of an offshoot of that. And it, I went last year, and uh, tickets actually for it uh, went on sale yesterday. There's going to be 400 and, 420 of them is, is going to be the, the limit. So it's actually, you know, compared to what Burning Man is, it's a very 
intimate group and it was an extraordinary experience last year with the um, uh, this this microcosm that was created over the course of those few days and i'm i'm not sure whether i am going to be going again this year or not i you know it's things are so in flux for me right now that it's hard to hard to tell but um i mean there's so there's there's communities around here like that that, that support those values that um uh are, are are gathering in that kind of uh, mindset of unity and and co-creation and, and gift giving so you know, like uh, gift culture and just taking what you have and being able to give it and then uh, trusting that you'll be receiving what you need to continue on in in creation so awesome uh the one that came to mind was the 3dl gathering is in michigan coming up here um that one came across my desk per se um and um yeah just uh you know i'm gonna start closing down the show in a little bit here but like the the rally call is out there for anybody tuning in uh portal to the new earth is happening um may 5th to 8th in joshua tree california and um and then May 8th to 12th after that is the, on the same property, Garth's Boulder Gardens, uh, 640 acres of uh, beautiful terrain um, is uh, the village immersion May 8th to 12th. And uh, so like, this is like one of the highest vibrational, amazing events of the year, uh, music and healings and activations and high wisdom. And it literally is a portal to the new earth. And I've, I've um, you know, built strong relationships with up to up to 200 you know of the core members of my tribe already out here on the west coast um whether they just went there and it was so great to see them and hang out with them for a full weekend or six seven days or eight days whatever it ends up being if you do the festival and the village immersion um or the people i met there that are doing amazing things that um, we built relationships with um and the, the the 640 acres is just like beautiful um uh, spaces and there's two kitchens and there's stage and there's tons of little houses all over the property and and a pond and gardens and and sauna and a pool and and um just tons of great spaces yurts and, and just awesome spaces for events and and it, it's this mini festival gathering um uh three or four days um and which is very curated it's one stage mostly so like it's just a good curated schedule of music and healings and wisdoms and everybody is is all in one container and we're able to really um really all grow learn heal grow transform together in, in, a, in a very uh high level source energy holding us container um so literally i i i was a part of a circle near the end of it or the third day maybe um which this like dragon dragon elder energy you know totally just facilitated these like 30 50 i don't know 7500 shot uh mantras through you know he was wailing the pain out of his being that we were collectively all holding and everybody was just broke down crying and just released and and, um, you know, I just, I got up and I just said, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you to every single person. And, and then the woman next to me, it was the dragon elder gentleman. And then the woman next to me, she, she turned to me and she said that she has access to all the funds, the humanitarian funds that want to be distributed to all these individuals of these projects. And I said to her, I'm your partner, let's do this. And, um, the next day I, I just, I just didn't care about the festival anymore. I just walked around and sat down with each person and just said, you know, if funds are ready and you're the one and you've got the project, what are you doing? How are you going to do it? And uh, who's your team? What infrastructure resources do you have in place? And, and just getting everyone in the mindset and starting to like write out their, their project or whatnot. And, um, and that was, you know, I get downloads a year ahead. So like, you know, a little bit came of that. I uh, got like 15, 20, 30 individuals to all share their projects on a, on a piece of paper and Awakening Sovereignty Collective had the biggest piece of it all. Um, and then there's the source that got a big piece uh, to hold the whole container as well. But, um, 
but I was able to hand, hand this woman, here's, um, here's, you know, 30 organizations and there's hundreds of projects here collectively. And, um, whether she, you know, moved on it, you know, that's her own piece. She, you know, but like I told her I would commit to, to finding all the funders and matching it up to all the projects. And that's what I've been doing this past, uh, since October, since that event is just setting up spaces and ways for, um, us to match up all the projects with all the funders and, and, uh, it's all flowing in that direction. So maybe this portal will be the one where we can actually start to like piece it all together at that next level of the, and whatnot. And, uh, and uh, soon we'll be matching funders to the projects and implementing them. And that looks to be happening very soon. So um, coming together in a big way. Um, and, uh, but Portal to the New Earth, is, I just speak really highly of it and building systems so that anybody can be there. Anybody can get there, anybody can afford it. Um, on the next two Thursdays at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're gonna do a live stream festival live stream sort of thing, collaborator, co-creator, you know, online gathering uh, for the next two Thursdays at 7 p.m. Pacific um, to, to allow a space for the musicians and the speakers and facilitators and healers to come on and, and bring through their medicines and uh, to, to all of us to tag all of our friends and family into this, into this uh, Facebook live chat and um, to come on Zoom if you have something to share. Um, and also, I want to launch this, I'm going to launch this, uh, this lottery gamify formula that I've been downloading for a while so that anybody can get the chance to win a lottery, get, win a ticket for a very low amount. Um, and worst case scenario, you get, you know, for the amount of money you put into the lottery, you get a coupon code for that amount that you put in so that you can use it to go buy a ticket or you can sell your ticket on the on the market to anybody that might want to go so that you really don't there's no risk it's a no risk gamify fun system that i've been downloading that now i can go live with on on the global live stream um so anybody can get there and then also building you can go ahead and build a um a craigslist ride share system where anybody in america can come in from any direction and share rides with each other so that it's possible for anybody to get to World to the New Earth. Um, and then from there, um, after that, the village immersion, you can learn permaculture and villaging from some masters. And and um, if you wanna stay at Garth's Boulder Gardens, uh, there, there may be an opportunity to ground in there if you'd like it. And uh, as that is set to be an eco village and Garth really wants a core group to come together and uh, and bring that in and, and, and ground in there. And after that, there's the Infinite Love in Motion. Is we're, we're doing a tour. Uh, it's the summer of love's 50th anniversary of the summer of love. So we're doing a tour up the coast. And if you want to travel up to all these other events, village building convergences and festivals and gatherings and, and coming into village, into city centers and doing carnivals of love and and um, bringing all the awareness of all of our organizations and missions, uh, bring materials to then showcase to everywhere we go and, and being like ambassadors or, or um, uh, emissaries of light at all the events in the, in the towns and, and um, a core group of traveling. And then there'll be some going up the coast and then some will cross the country and back going to events all the way across the country and back to rally people and bring them all back to then all of us converge up in uh, Oregon at Oregon Eclipse later this year. Um, and, um, you know, there's just so much. Um, we're a part of co-creating the One Love Experience, which will be in, uh, in uh, the Los Angeles area as well in October. And then Portal will happen again in October again. Uh, and I could see those two events being the end of the year, end of festival season big shebang celebration um, where we do global like unification festivals around the world simultaneously and there are small gatherings around the world. Uh, a lot of people have visioned out a global medicine wheel happening um, and then a lot of people have visioned out a global festival uh, with music uh, and the sacred sites gatherings around the world and and why not October being the, the, the finish line. Um, I, I see the next uh, 
five months or so, there's so many great gatherings and opportunities to come together and, and move this thing forward uh, to build out the resource-based economic system for the planet. And, um, and at the end of the year, October is, is a great opportunity to finish out a, a wonderful festival season. And then we take six months off and we, we retreat back to our villages, whether it be uh, Hawaii or Ojai or wherever you have land that you want to bring your tribe together to settle in and take six months off and, and rest and regenerate and, and, um, and get ready for the next festival season from April to October. Um, in the next few years, we'll do, we'll do um, up the coast this year, across the country next year, which we're getting a little taste of that this year as well. And then uh, around the world the year after that, um, uh, seven continental tours. Uh, but it's already happening that like we're already doing the up the coast and across the country now. So what's to say we, it's just accelerated and, and, and everybody copies our model and is already doing tours in their areas anyways. So it's, we're just transforming the whole planet into one global village or one global farm or um, paradise on earth, heaven on earth, whatever you want to call it. So that's, uh, that's what I've got. And uh, do you guys any, have any closing statements? Any, anything you guys want to share? Um, I don't have anything. No, but that, it's just, it's such an exciting time. Just I, you know, I'm sitting here listening to you, and just I'm I'm visioning it. Just I, I'm getting visions of of it. Just these waves. Just just back to the first time that I felt the these these waves of unconditional love that are emanating from the center, and just the first time this 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 one felt that. And just as you're you're talking, I'm just seeing it happening this summer and, and, and what's being done and what we're creating together. And it is just absolutely beautiful. Thank you, brother. Richard? No, I'm pretty much clear. Um, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being present. Awesome. All right, guys. Thank you so much for, for playing your part. And uh, I'll see you at the next shows. And love you all. Bye. Later days. Peace. Peace, Eric. Thanks for showing up. Bye. Bye. Next time. See you.